Life jackets come in a variety of types with different characteristics and are also referred to as PFDs, personal flotation device, as well as BV buoyancy vests. This is an introduction to the types of PFDs, PFDs that I use and their characteristics. Type 1 PFDs, level 100 and over, are the true life jacket with a collar. They will roll you over and keep you floating in a safe position with a clear airway, as well as offer you a high level of buoyancy. Inflatable PFDs are not recommended for paddle sports for various reasons, but they do have their place. Type 2 level 50 PFDs are what we use and recommend for paddle sports. Highly visible with reflective stripes. Type 3 level 50S are very similar to the Type 2 PFD, however they are manufactured in a wide variety of colours, shapes and equipped for particular activity. There is a various range of sizes of Type 1 PFDs for toddlers and children. Toddlers we actually don't recommend undertake paddling activities. When is a toddler or a child ready for paddling activities? When they're waterproof? It depends on your experience, the environment and the type of craft you are paddling. The PFDs I use and recommend for sea kayaking and touring, the Kokatat Outfit Tour PFD. It will carry all your necessary accessories. For surf skiing and ocean racing, the Vicobi V3 Ocean Racer High Viz. And for white water and river running, I use the NRS Zen Rescue PFD. And kayak fishing, the Kokatat Leviathan. Main characteristic for a Type 1 PFD is the large floating collar as well as for the toddlers it's the wedgie strap to stop them falling through the pfd type 2 the one we recommend for paddle sports due to its high vis and reflective stripes as well as pockets for all your necessary accessories and for white water and river running we recommend that all pfds have a releasable harness rescue harness built into the pfd and for sit on top kayaks for comfort because you've generally got a seat and a backrest, a PFD with a cutaway pillow. And for those dog PFDs, a good grab handle in case they go overboard. We recommend that you always wear a PFD when undertaking paddle sports and be aware of your state regulations and to undertake training with a qualified Paddle Australia instructor so you understand the basics. Let someone know before you go how to interpret the weather, wear the correct clothing, Understand the basic strokes, self and assisted rescues, so you can get back in if you fall out. And if it all goes to custard, how you raise the alarm. East Coast Kayaking and the Kayak Trip Australia, the kayaking specialists.